quick video here on how to edit the feature cam posts to put out the in value that you are interested in. So we have three styles here uh, the, to display. This style outputs an in value at each tool change. So here we have an M6 and an N1 at the start of that sequence. And we'll go ahead and search for another M6. And you'll see the next tool change has another N value so we can quickly jump from tool to tool to tool uh, and, and find our way through the program. The next style uh, is more common. Uh, you either have an N value for every single line or you don't have an in value at all. So we'll just kind of go over the three ways to obtain that. Uh, we'll look at the the in value on every line and no in value at all first. So we'll come here. Uh, Feature cam has a ribbon at the bottom and it and it has a bunch of info and we'll just go through them real quick. This first one is the plane. So this is an XZ uh, rotation, actually, I believe. So it's the orientation on the screen, I'm sorry. And that's what I thought it was originally. But this is also a fourth axis part, and it rotates around the X plane. So that XZ threw me for a second. So second, you have the uh, unit of measure for the file you're working in. Then you have your active layer, your active coordinate system, your active setup and then your active post, active machine sim, active tool crib, and then how many cores you're using. So we want to double click on our active post. Oh, that was a single click. And here we have two, uh, two boxes. One is the block start, and this is what you want to start your end value with. So we're going to start with in one and then what do you want to increment it by and we did an in zero so this post has my initials at the end of it is set up so that if we increment by zero then it is going to produce the in value with a reference in at each tool change if we switch posts real quick to the standard post that comes with a with with feature cam if we do a block start at 1 and a block increment of 0 then we will we will have we won't have any n values in our post if we do a block start of 1 and an increment of 1 then we will get a line number at each or we'll get an end value at each line. Some programmers like to increment by five and I was having a discussion with someone that liked to increment by five and he said the reason is is that if he was going to add a line here and it was going to be whatever that he no longer has the ability to add an in value to to that line because it's going numerically 13 and then 14 but if he goes by fives then when he does his added line he's able to to add in like an n16 and he gives himself a few a few numbers there that he can he can edit code at the machine and still keep his end numbers I personally don't like seeing a bunch of end numbers which is why I prefer having an end value at each tool change so again we'll pull up this Haas VF post um, most of the time the post that you're using is going to be stored is going to be a factory post unless of course you've had a lot of work done to your post but most of them are found under your program files Delcam folder 
select the feature cam version that you're working with and then you go into post select mill 3-axis Haas VF um, but again if you come down here and click your your post will pull up so I'm going to edit the post from Haas or from feature cam for a Haas uh, because it does not increment by the tool number and I'll hit edit this is going to open up the X build and we're going to have to to add a few things to our post now X build will allow you to edit your post the good news is you can edit your post the bad news is you can mess up your post so um, I always save my posts as a different name so that I can always come back to this original post so we're going to go into formats and we need to cr create a custom uh, a custom format or custom cycle and we'll hit new and we have to name it now this document will be available and basically this will be our name this will be the body of the of the program or what that does and we'll get on to these next two next so I'm just gonna copy this and make that the name of this format and then I'll come in here and I'm going to copy what we want it to do we'll go ahead and look at this real quick it's saying that if if we call up this if the sequence is zero so in other words our increment if we're incrementing by zero then we're gonna add one anytime we call up this custom format otherwise if this if that increment is anything other than zero it's gonna act normally so it'll count it'll increment by five or it'll increment by two or it'll, it will increment by one but if you increment it by zero then it will count anywhere that we call this custom format okay so we're gonna hit that and then we'll save it so again we have to call up that custom format and so anywhere that we want an end value we need to call this include opt comment so I'm gonna hit copy and you can see I went back to formats I went back to program and I'm looking at my program start and this is the cycle this is what it's going to do every time it starts the program so you've got your program name which is the O number and then um, it's going to give you your time all this information these are all comments and then you can see we call a sequence here as we start getting into the program here it's going to call if it's a finish pass or a rough pass what kind of operation it is your segment ID and then these motions this is your um, your safety line so the your G28s your G40s your units all that is done here your feed units uh, in inches here's your tool call tool number and M6 um, all that so what we see here is the definition of what we actually see on the outside here's your G43 with the H offset so this is everything that the program is going to do as it starts that program format and so right before this in sequence is where we want an in value so here's our include opt comment so now we will have an in value now if you notice this is your end of block and I did not put an end of block here and we'll come back to that in just a second so I'm gonna hit close we're gonna save this now remember I said I also want an in value at every tool change so we're gonna go back to formats back to program back to and then we're gonna go into tool change this time and here's an in sequence let's see what it's doing it is going G53 so it's basically going to a safe location um, in this case G53 Z0 so it's going to a secondary home so it's raising the spindle back to Z0 and then it calls an M1 
and now here's our M6 and here is our sequence so I want another end value but again notice I did not put an end of block so we're gonna go ahead and close that and save it and we'll go ahead and save this file save as CNC now it's telling me that the post that we're editing was created in a feature cam version older than the feature cam version that we're using. Basically what that means is feature cam, I can use a old post on a newer version of feature cam but I cannot use a new post on an old version of feature cam so we have to keep that in mind when you're editing these posts depending on you know if how many different versions of feature cam you're using it at the time I usually have an old version and a new version I work in the new version I have the old version there because I always have tools in that tool crib um, in the tool library that that I want access to again so I'm gonna hit OK and I'm gonna save this to my desktop and I'm going to call it N2 because I did a practice one already and we'll hit save. And I'm going to close this and what we should find here, I'm going to hit OK. Oh, I have to select it. So when you go to when it's time to bring your new post into the scene you can browse and go find it but it's also easier to open up Windows Explorer find it and then just drag it into the scene it's not letting me right now because this is open so you close that and now you can see the plus and you can see now we're on Haas VF N2 we'll go ahead and sim simulate this real quick All right, and now when I come look at this NC code, I'm going to get this error. Expression num equals num plus one. Num is an unbound ID. So basically, we haven't. Basically, we've we've messed something up, right? And I knew that this was going to do that. So we have to fix that unbound ID with the num and what I found with mine is that inside this init custom format my post that I use on a regular basis has this value and so if we look here that's the that is the final definition in this um, in this document of things that we need to define so <clears throat> once we do this we hit yes and we close save changes before quitting yes now when we well we don't even have to resim okay so there's an N1 next to an M6 let's go ahead and find our next M6 and here is another in value next to an M6. Now if you remember I talked about the end of block so if we come in here again and hit edit go back to formats program start and we copy this we add the end of block after that include opt-in comment and we do it again to tool segment and now oh made a liar out of me well it was supposed to put it on the next line but it didn't so we'll keep that in value where it is
Okay, there's one other way to fix the in um, the in value. The the question that started this video was um, I, have, I have a customer who is drip feeding a program into an older machine and so he's using a DNC style uh, delivery for his code and his his file had more than 99999 in values and he gets an error so that's the problem he's trying to solve this is the way that I prefer to solve it because I I like my in values at my tool changes I've shown the other two version other two options there's another way in feature cam to solve that and it's still an xbuild project so we're still in xbuild for the post that we want to edit and we can go in here to CNC info and general and down here at the bottom it says sequence max so if we check this then it already defaults to the nines because it's a known problem but we can make that number whatever we want so I'm gonna make it 50 so we can do a quick demo and I'm gonna hit OK and we'll go ahead and close this out now I'm gonna start my block at 5 and I'm gonna increment my block by 5 and we'll hit OK and it starts at 30 which might seem interesting except if you go 25 20 15 10 5 so it actually counts every line even though it's not calling for a sequence number in front of it but if you can see here when we get back to 45 here's our 50 it just starts to count back over at 9 so using the the max in value will get around the 99999 problem but it won't necessarily make it easy for you to find where you're trying to be or where you're trying to get to because in the case of this file you have a 50 every 10 lines so searching for in 50 isn't going to help you any so those are the four ways that we can manipulate the in values in our post